Hey everybody, it's Chrissy and Tanner here, Common Sense Editors. We have a weekly show for you. It is Tuesday and we have a tool for you that we review over on commonsense.org slash education. We're going to talk about one for you. One you've probably already heard about before, but we got a new spin on it. So Chrissy, what have you got for us today? Listen. Maybe starting, I don't know, I can't even remember exactly when it started, but you know, a while back you started to see people share things on social media and you're like, are they cracking the code of the the cipher of the Zodiac killer? What is this with these green and yellow squares? What's happening? No, it was just Wordle. That's right. Wordle. You know it. You love it. Most people have at least heard of it, if not at least played it one time to see what all the hype was about. So <laughs> you might know the mechanics, but let me just uh, tell you very quickly what is happening. By the way, if you haven't visited recently, if you were on the um, initial crest of the hype and haven't played it recently, the New York Times now is the purveyor of um, Portal. So yeah, that that's my situation. I played it pre acquisition. So I'm, I haven't even I'm not familiar with this. It's on the New York times domain. Now, New York times.com yep. slash game slash wordle. Um, and and they have like other they... games, which I didn't, I mean, obviously the crossword, but I don't know. I, I didn't, I wasn't aware. So there's some other things you can check out there. Yeah, look at this. Here, but the here basic go. idea is that you're guessing a five letter word. And you get a series of guesses and they show you if you have the correct letters, any of the correct letters, and if they're in the correct placement uh, via the colors. So if you have a green letter, not only have you guessed the correct letter, but it's in the correct spot as well. If you have a yellow letter, it's the correct letter, but in the wrong spot. So you continue to guess. And of course, the goal is to guess the word in the fewest amount of guesses possible. Um, and then you can share to social media. But since Wordle only refreshes once per day, if you share the results, it doesn't share the word, doesn't give anything away. It just illustrates exactly how smart you are to all of your contacts via yellow and green squares, which if you're not up on the Wordle uh, situation, it was just confusing at first. I had no idea what was going on. So that's Wordle. Well, do you, now, do you have why... a, do you have a starting word that you use? Did you play today's Wordle already? I didn't play today's. Should we do it? I played yesterday in preparation and I believe the word was sheet. Is that right? Sweet. I believe it was sweet. But I know that like uh, there's there's do you have a, a standard to, start? Do you have a starter word? I can't word? remember what I was using, but you you write you wanted some some vowels in there. Yep. Um, some common like bread maybe is a is, is bread. Bread is there? a good one. Yeah, bread is a is a good start. Yeah. So you you type that in, you press enter, and then of course oh. we didn't get a single. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so bread didn't work for us today. But um, yeah, the idea then is see. none of these letters are in the word, and none of these <laughs> letters are in the right position. So this is as good of a start as you can as you can hope for, people. This isn't one you probably share on social media unless we get them all correct the <laughs> next time. What about tacit? Ooh. Oh, wait, but we uh, we know a isn't in it, right? But oh, you're right. Let's try it anyway. And it's two T's. Did you? What is a Zoom? Get get out of here, Zoom. <laughs> get out of here, Zoom. But so now okay, we know well, we that know T is correct. Yeah, there's a T somewhere in there. But so we don't have to go through the whole thing and embarrass ourselves. But uh, you kind of see late. how this goes, and then and then when you share it out, this will all be gray. This will be yellow and all gray, and people can kind of see your journey, your wordle journey. Your wordle journey. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, yes. So the reason I wanted to highlight it is because it's possible that your students have also heard about wordle. It's relatively quick. It can be a really fun bell ringer. 
Um, so, and you can all join in together as Tanner and I were just trying to figure it out together. So you can have kids guess, shout out guesses, etc. And something that I hadn't thought of myself, but if you want to, um, you know, try to be a little cross-curricular, obviously this works well for an ELA classroom, but math classrooms could also, you know, look at probability, um, and try to figure out the, the best strategy, et cetera. So I think there are possibilities, um, around vocab building and just fun sort of, uh, bonding bell ringer times to work together. Here's something else you should know. There are, since on the New York times version, it's just what you get. But if you go to, um, one of the several copycats that are out there, uh, this one is from my strive math is the, the next screen. Um, and that site actually lets you modify what words go in there and it's available in several languages. So, um, that site is actually, yes, it is linked in our review as well. So if you want to get to it easily, just visit our Wordle review and you'll see that link in the review itself. Um, so that offers you a little bit more flexibility and then, you know, you know, if you have younger students, you can make sure that the vocabulary either lines up with something you're already teaching them or something that might stretch just to the right uh, zone of proximal development, et cetera. So that is Wordle. Just wanted to highlight and show what might be possible. With the world of Wordle. Yeah, it's one of those, it's one of those great moments where it's so there's this cultural zeitgeist, this huge thing, everyone's doing it. And it is perfect for classrooms. I mean, it it's tailor made and really for any, like clearly language arts, this fits perfectly, but really like you could use Wordle to teach, you know, to, especially the custom Wordles, you can involve those, you know, pick a concept or a term that you're working on that week and just it'd be a ton of fun either independently or with um up projected and everyone can be shouting at you which is always good shouting uh. oh <laughs> love shouting in a classroom so, <laughs> so as we said at the top of the show we're here every tuesday on youtube so um please stop by again and uh like this video subscribe and we'll see you next week <laughs>